can't straddle these because they're too big. Everything's gonna be all right. Look at me. <laughs> so if somebody's new here, why are we so late this year? Because. <laughs> Smells good. Just kidding. I don't know. I don't know how he's gonna do this. Oh boy. What do you say? A quarter an inch? Yeah. Another quarter inch. Perfect little dove feather on the ground. I don't know. I felt like I should keep it. I'll just stick it in my pocket. Maybe I should put, put it in my hat. <laughs> oh, okay. We're getting back to cows today. Back to working cows. Um, oh my gosh. We have had, uh, a lot of discussion, a lot of thinking, trying to figure out what we're doing with our calves this year. We are just going to do the best we can and make the best decision we can. It's just a different year. It's been a different year all the way around. Not a great year in a lot of ways. Uh, so, yeah. Here's hoping we're doing the right thing and it's just, it's hard to know what to do given the situation with the prices and our situation with uh, facilities and where to cook, keep the, to be able to put them if we kept them. So anyway, we're gonna do a little of this and a little of that. So today is change of mind day for some of the bull calves, the ones we've weaned so far, meaning castration. And he just said, <laughs> have you ever? You ever. You have before, but it's been a long, long time. He's always cut them since I've been here. But today, we're banding. It's different. Why are we doing it this way this year? Because they're big and it's hot. Yeah. We normally do this in May, not August. Ugh. They're bigger. It's hotter. And we're just hoping this is going to be maybe a better choice this year. And I know a lot of you probably have your own opinions, but this is what we're doing. So we'll see how this goes. I still have to can tails, I reckon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't, get, want a band. I, don't, I don't get out of my fun job of holding tails up. But you don't have to cut. Hold a knife in your mouth. So, here we go. And we gotta give everybody an ear tag. Oh. Take the water off so you can get the water off. Oh. So we also used to tag at birth, but we stopped doing that in the last few years. And we're doing it this way. Makes it a little easier and a little less dangerous. <laughs> Numero uno. Mm. Oh gosh, it's hard. Oh. Okay, so that goes around the testicles and then they eventually just fall off. I hope it's big enough. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, if not, we will be cutting. <laughs> Some of them, one of them is going to be tough to get through the... Oh boy. The bander says it can go up to 800 pounds and these calves are... Six ish, six, six fifty, right? Give or take. Probably average six, so. Okay. 
we'll see. Muddy mess. Oh, y'all are a muddy mess. All but one. <laughs> All but one goes in the right way. So he came in here with the little John Deere <laughs> and uh, scraped it as good as he could. It was a muddy mess because we've had him in here for what, a week and a half at least? Anyway, I can walk. I've been in here when it was hard to walk. <laughs> All right, boys little little men about to be boys that's what that's what you are oh I forgot I can't talk and video and think all at the same time that's asking a lot all right I just need about a third of you in there there's 22 give me a couple more okay that's enough nope that's too many This one's huge. It's huge. Seven ninety six. That's a little more than six. He's been gaining weight, but he didn't weigh that much. And now, 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 now I have to straddle him and hold his tail up. It's not my favorite thing, y'all. Okay, okay, he's done. Well, surely if you got him, you'll be able to get the rest because he's got to be about the biggest, hopefully. Okay. Next. Yeah, if you can get him in there, then I'll just stay back here and hold. Oh, they ain't gonna melt too. I'm gonna have to go help. He's saying they've gained weight since we cut them, which is good. I mean, since we separated them, weaned them, which is good, and they should have because they've been fed every day. Can't straddle these because they're too big. We used to straddle them. But I'm going to hold, hold up and hold tight. Got it? That one was faster. Okay. All right, buddy. You're done. Gotcha, buddy. 650. The last two were in the six range. So these calves were born October, November. And like I say, we typically do this in about May, but this year has just been weird and no, a lot. We're to do this in December. When they look. Oh, yeah. What was I you thinking? You don't know what she's talking about. No, I can't think. I can't think. You're right. We usually do this in December. Last year, we did it late. Er, we did it later. Sorry. I had my, I had that wrong. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's a little different. You can see last year's video. I'll link to it. There won't be any calf fries this year because we're not cutting. There's nothing to cook <laughs> like I did last year.
like taking one of y'all to the doctors to get shot. You start crying before you even get them. <laughs> Ooh, be free. You think we were killing him? I hadn't even touched him. All right, next group. Okay, seven, eight, nine more, whatever. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. Thank you. Get in there, babies. Come on. Can't even call you babies anymore, hardly. There you go. Single file. Everybody's in. Everything's gonna be all right. That's about a week or two. Mm. Oh, sometimes they don't want to leave. I hope so. I'm to get my head caught again because I think I'm going to do a bad thing today. <laughs> I think I'm going to mess up. <laughs> Messed up my fun for life. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to go back through that. Well, you can do it if I stay here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We're going back up there. Come on, son. Good boy. Nice and quiet. That's good. Keep some off your head. Look at me. <laughs> and some days you get crabbed on your head. Oh. Oh, me. <laughs> I haven't seen that happen to you. Reason number 212 why you wear a hat. Oh. It's time for a new one anyway. This is 13, right? Six thirty-two, thirteen. Yeah. It's a little calmer. Maybe. He's in there? Did he get in there? Oh. We've been looking for Lawrence. Twenty one. Yeah. Is it twenty one? It is. It's yeah. twenty one. It's the last one. I've been waiting for you, buddy. I've been waiting for you today. Yeah. Good job, kiddos. Thanks for your help. Good job, Daddy-O. <laughs> oh, so far, so good. I don't know. I think I might like Bandon. Somebody's a little sweaty. It's faster than cutting, for but, sure. But. You'll see in the morning whether you like them or not. If they come to the feed trough or if they stand up there doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that's that's one reason you didn't you hadn't wanted to band, right? Well, when they're little, I like to cut them, in. but just I ain't cutting no calves as hot as it is now. 
Hot to fly. So if somebody's new here, why are we so late this year? Because. Okay, talk, I can't see your Last face. Last fall, when we need to cut calves, it was mud as a devil. I won't cut no calves and put them out in the mud. When it got dry, I was busy trying to plant stuff for hay this spring. And then we had two or three chances and we didn't do it. We're just getting lazy already. I don't think we're lazy. Think we're busy. We're and, busy uh, doing something all the time. Yeah. I wouldn't call us lazy. No. Nah. Just just can't everything can't always be perfect. We do our best to do things right. So what are we gonna go do now? What are we gonna go do now? We're gonna go put up a gate. Oh, oh excuse me. We're gonna go eat lunch. And then we're gonna put up a gate and put them in a lot. Oh, and call it a day on the cows and get ready to separate some more tomorrow. Sure am thankful for the overcast day. It's warm and it's humid, but at least the sun's not blazing down. 666, 622, 628, 632, 684, 604, 700, 518's a little 718, 397 on right because he was bouncing, but he was for something. 750, <laughs> 718, 658, 616, 700, 796. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Get you some water. And uh yeah. I'll wash my hands before we eat. Some of y'all are um some of y'all don't like the fact that I don't tend to wear gloves. Fact is I just don't like wearing gloves. And that's why I don't wear them. I do usually wear them when I'm canning tails, but I forgot them and as Lawrence says where did they go? Crap. He didn't say crap, but manure washes. They're in the lot. It all washes. So they're in the second pan over there. So anyway, that's that, y'all. You don't need to send me any gloves. I have gloves. I just prefer not to wear them. What? <laughs> What'd you say? Sounds like me. The good Lord for the past. Rejuvenating gloves on the end of my arms when I was born. He said the good Lord put a pair of rejuvenating arms on the end, of, gloves on the end of his arm when he was born. Yeah, people ask about you not wearing gloves either. We're just not really glove people. It all works out on, in the wash. Hmm. <clears throat> smells good. Just kidding. It just doesn't bother me. I guess it's a good thing. Many people can pick a hot coal out of the stove. Throw it back in the fire. <laughs> yeah, he, his hands are pretty tough. He can do that. We're having lunch and watching. Can you hit pause for a sec? Watching a new channel, y'all. Wait, what was it called? Whirly Family Homestead. W-O-R-L-E-Y. That's right. Whirly Family Homestead. So, these are the people, Andy and Kim, that bought Elmo, and they now have a YouTube channel, so you're going to have to check it out. I'll provide a link here, and I'll provide a link in the description, so you can all keep up with Elmo now. Yay! We can all keep up with Elmo. We're excited, too. Yeah. Sweet. Wesley <laughs> oh. <laughs> saw a mouse. There's a girl. Let's get it. Where'd it go? <laughs> okay. Reduce. Reuse. Recycle. That's what we do. part but the reuse and recycle <laughs> I don't know I don't know how he's gonna do this but I'm interested to watch so let's see come here Clara 
Clara. Come here. here on top of this other gate just to reinforce it we're gonna put the stairs in here feed them and hopefully keep them in <laughs> shorn up work and it's raining. A little, oh, and there's a wasp on my phone. <laughs> oh, I just sprayed him. That sucker landed right on my screen. That scared me. You got it? Uh -huh. I got stung the other day. I don't want to get stung again. Come on, guys. The staples? Um, One of two times Lawrence does wear gloves. Barbed wire, and when it's really cold. Mamas are on the other side of this fence. Just want to, just want to make sure that it's extra secure before we put all the little. Mama said bulls, steers, and here's. <laughs> no, the ones we just castrated are steers. Well, they're on their way to being steers in a week or so. <laughs> That's true. I guess I didn't explain how that band works, but it's kind of self-explanatory, right? So the band goes around the top of the testicles and it just eventually falls off. Hmm. Cuts the blood off. Cuts the blood off. Circulation. So, we're hoping it works well. Much study you hadn't done it in 50 years. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> he just flung that glove off and said he hates gloves. All right, come on. We have a problem. Fence is grounded somewhere. It's not. It's not working well. That's not good. <laughs> We're up here shoring it up. <laughs> There's not even hardly any juice on it to start with. Oh boy. That's par for the course. Let me take it back over back up there and we'll go around and see what's got it. Okay. 
Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. BB? Comes up here. Yeah, that's BB. Coming up here like he owns a place. He had his head thrown down. <laughs> oh. You holding your own, son? It's hot, ain't it? I know. We're all ready to go home. <laughs> ready to find this thing. We think we might have found it. There was a barrel. Miss your babies? Mm. A little more farmer ingenuity. We need to drag these troughs out of here. It's the what? The bucket. They both said the same thing though. They both found the silver lining. At least we got the hay, hay bale in there before it busted. <laughs> oh. Didn't last forever. Oh. Looks like I'm gonna die one day. Yeah. That hose has got a life and it run so long that some of <laughs> them run longer than the other. Some of these hoses have been on there since 1972. <laughs> them right there, I put them on. And that, the bend's right there all the time. Wherever you bend them the most, that's where they bust. He's never seen one bust. I have. It's been a while though. Huh. Happy day. So this day just keeps on giving. But, oh well. It ain't giving, it's taking. It's taking. <laughs> Oh, so blasted hot. Oh. 